Yeah, my name uh, is Sabinim Thompson. I've uh, been training uh, 1974 to today. Uh, today, I'll be teaching you uh, Tegdut, uh, old style. Uh, just something uh, different to show, uh, maybe you can add to your current training. Okay? Take up one. Only going to show first half. These will be short five to eight minute video to show uh, tegut, uh, old style tegut, and then how to use it in a self defense pattern. I'll show again. Twelve o'clock to one thirty. <laughs> tegut number one. Good. Your marker point, your starting position will be there. When you're finished with some of your teguts, you should easily be able to step a step forward and find your original position. If it's a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, that means one side leg was longer or shorter. Okay. Now we'll cover uh, Possibly we'll call the do's and don'ts of the Tegu one. Quad. <sighs> when you do your Tegu, first don't go too wide. Makes a looseness on the hip. One of the best ways to measure is to make a simple V. Turn your left, turn your right up. This is natural position. After a while, you'll learn to memorize and be here. Let me move to the side. Watch me. Tegu. When you bow, don't bow with your neck like this. Bowing here. Slight bend of elbow. Please bow from the hip. Now, talking about the down block, when you learn, all teachers will teach a straight fist. When you simple learn in class, up, down, up, down, up, down. As time goes by, you're going to learn to go from here to here, to here, to here. As more time goes by, you'll learn to turn the wrist and bring it closer to body. And when it reaches the elbow height, the wrist will turn up at an angular position. Sometimes at competition though, some judges want to hear the snap of the straight. You will just have to decide according to what event and how they are judging. But old school tegut were all like this. This is for learning or depending on rules of competition. Listen to the masters and you'll be okay. But traditionally, for self-defense, here. Tegut stances, excuse me.
Just pull my leg up here. When you do your tegut stances, they will be taught at a locked out knee position. If you notice here, the locked out knee position, it is simply to teach the new student which way to go, and then they know how to move the arm as a beginner. To an experienced beginner, to an advanced here, turning of the wrists. Hut! After a while, you don't want to do this. Uh, this could be trouble. A uh, person can hurt leg, and also it stiffens your hips. If your hips are stiff, they cannot move. Always want your knee to be strong above your toe. The shadow of the knee should reach the tip of your toes. This is tego here. So when you're here, I'll face this way so you can see. When you go to the left, you look, chamber, move leg first, at one swift motion, turn hip, then here. If you can see, I'm here. This is called walking stance. This is a first day walking stance, but this is a true walking stance with a little turn here, just slightly. Now I'll show you why. Okay, student, come on. Okay, this will be a uh, defense from punch, or we'll do a slow kick so you can see. In a self defense situation, come. left foot always moves, come. bowing from the hip. Now, right foot go back. There you go. Now, when you're in here, if Tegu. Remember, uh, we're going to do like uh, one year or more training. If you've been training one month, it's okay. Uh, this will just be for future or advance you faster. If I go locked knee backwards here, let me roll up here so you can see. If I go here and I bring my hand down, I do slow kick. Hurt knee. And now kicked. Watch what happens to my wrist. Bang. Wrist get hurt real bad. The hand cannot challenge the foot. The foot is too powerful. The object to blocking is to have here, straight here. If somebody kick, it's safe. And you see, you can move hip. If your leg is straight, you cannot move the hip. You're pushing your hip backwards. So bend your knee. This is called walking stand here. If my arm is up here and I go down, now it's an angular position here. Now when she kicks, it should bounce off my arm and go to the side. You see? Slide it up, go. You see? Right, we'll go here. If she threw body punch, go here. If I did a down block here, a strong punch can almost push the elbow backwards. You are supposed to be here. So then with the stances here, it can do the same and slide. There's always somebody bigger in the world. So slide. If you go straight, she could almost hit and push me. All right? Or what if the timing of the punch, she goes slow and let's say I go early. Bang, she punches my own fist. Or the worst, we crash together and both wrists bend. Then you're out like that. Remember, martial art is not just geared for fighting, but the aspects of self-defense are very important. This is mainly why you signed up, right? Yes. To learn self-defense. And then you learn to be happy and healthy. Okay, that's good. So take a look. This is a short, short video. Uh, please hit the like button uh, so I can do more. This is our very, very first one. First one on take a look number one. I will keep my pants up so you can see.
Watch please. If I go here, here, don't go chumbi down when you have experience. Don't go like this. It only creates a habit, and a habit will go into your pumse. When you have experience, remember the V or the memorizing, pull from the ground. Take time to breathe, shoulder position. <laughs> Not like this. A little bend, little bend. Now, when you look, leg up, down. It's like a natural walking step. You see, I'm only bending a little bit. Now, angle. Down. Now you want to perform in in to out. This is the purpose of putting leg together. In and here. As an experienced person, if you step and punch for self-defense, the move is already over. But for competition, it depends how the masters are scoring. So there's many ways. But I'll show you the self-defense homesay style. Down, angle. Now here, into or out. Now when you turn, breathe out. Now when you turn, then when you go in, but this one here is walking. And back. Quick. If you're covering and learning, always listen to your master. So this is just an addition to what you're learning, or this is more high level technique. Always listen to master number one. Here. Quick. Okay, so these are a short video. We'll do more next week. Uh, please hit the like button. Uh, let's see if you like. Ready? Thank you. Come.